What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to quickly show you how to do these uh, fridge magnets. Real quick, I'm going to try to keep the video under 10-15 minutes. I'm going to show you a design. We're going to design it, we're going to print it out, we're going to put the magnet in it, and we're going to call it a day. Okay, there's two ways of doing the magnets. Obviously you can uh, pause at height, insert the magnet, and then resume the print, and then it prints on top of it, which is amazing, perfect, but I don't feel like sitting there watching the print to wait for it. So I'll show you the way I do it. And the magnets I'm working with right now, they're uh, seven millimeter by two millimeters magnets, okay, that I bought from Amazon. So uh, quickly, let me show you how I do that real quick. Uh, here's how I found the image. Okay, so like emojis, whatever, you know, little designs. Uh, you can do a circle, you can do, I did a, a, a poop emoji, and I'll, I'll put the pictures in after, in the video. So I went ahead and downloaded this picture right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do image to SVG and go to this guy here. And I'm just going to drop that picture right in there. And then we're going to convert it. And meanwhile, I'm going to start uh, fusion in the background. And uh, this is this is real quick method. Um, like I said, the here we go, bamboo. Let me just put it in the video on amuse or however you spell it. Okay, now this is a this works with my magnets because they're two millimeter uh, in depth. So what I usually do is when I make these things, I only make them up to four millimeters, and then I'll put the hole. You'll see how how I put the hole and everything. Okay, sketch. Okay, they're already hidden. Okay, perfect. So here's what I'll do. Uh, insert SVG for my computer and we saved it in the video folder and right here and right here and flat okay so this is the guy I want right here okay um, but right before I put this in let me show you how I kind of gauge how big I want it um, I usually just open up a circle and what I found out is about 50 millimeter for me is a good size where everything gets printed depends on the detail too so I'll make a reference circle just draw a circle uh, I do 50 millimeter and then I'll do the insert SVG uh, unamused and then now I know that this is about the biggest I want to go okay so I'll put it like right about there. That's a good size right there, okay? I'll hit okay, and you see how this got brought in? I'm just gonna highlight it, delete it. I'm gonna delete my circle that I originally have. Now I got the right size in there, okay? Simple and easy, highlight everything, E for extrude. I'm gonna go negative three, cause total I want four millimeters. So I'm gonna go negative three, new component, okay? I'm gonna bring my sketch back in by hitting the eyeball. I'm gonna do the outline, extrude, one millimeter, New component, uh, I think the eyebrows are gonna be black. Uh, one millimeter, new component. If everything, if all the eyes and mouth and everything is black, you can just do it all in one go. Uh, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna look at that picture real quick and make sure I got everything right. So I got the outline, I got the eyes, the mouth, and then the actual face, new component. Okay, now we got everything over here. Okay, four millimeters, okay. Now I'm gonna go to the back, okay. I'm gonna go to the back of it. All right, now I know, like I said, I know my diamond, it, I mean, my magnet is seven millimeters by two millimeters. And what I found out is offset of 0.2 works for me, okay? So I'm gonna click this, highlight the body, and I'm gonna create a new sketch, circle, and I'm gonna go, so either I can just do 7.2, or to show you the offset way of doing it, my, my magnet I know is seven millimeters, right? So I'll do seven, then I'll hit O for offset, Click the outline on the circle and I'll do 0.2. So that gives me a 0.2 of offset. Okay, so then I can highlight the inside 7 millimeter one and just delete it. So here's my offset circle. Okay, so it's 2 millimeter in depth. Again, 2.2. Okay, is usually what works for me. So I'm going to do E and I'm going to do negative 2.2. Okay, and okay, because it's going to cut in it. Okay, so now if you can see, that's going to be the hole for my magnet. I'm just going to throw some super glue in there pop it in there and it should work out pretty good okay so from right here we're gonna do export we're gonna go to step file we're gonna call this unamused i don't know how to spell it but we'll go with that unamused we'll go to our bamboo slicer we'll create a new project go here go to the file unamused where are you right here okay now we got the perfect size that i want okay for a fridge magnet now we got yellow black uh, what does an unamused look like anyway let me go over here unamused emoji uh images uh black 
brown, yellow, brown and yellow, black and yellow, either one. Okay, so we're going to go, let me just put a brown in here anyway, just to see what it looks like. Okay, so we'll go to the objects and the whole thing, I'm going to make it yellow. And then what is this? No, we'll keep that yellow. This is the outline black, 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 or brown, 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 brown. I don't know which one looks better. I think black probably looks better. That's more like an emoji too. I don't know. I'll do black. I'll do black just for the sake of it. Black, black, black. Okay. That kind of looks better. All right. So now what I do is I turn it upside down. 180, 180 right there, and I'll slice it, and I'll show you guys over here, okay, why I do negative three. Uh, right over here, you'll see one millimeter, one millimeter of changes that's gonna be happening, it's all color, okay? And then after that, it's gonna start building in the background, and then you can see it's making a hole for the magnet, and then it finishes all the way through, making it a total of four millimeters, okay? So let me go ahead and print it and I'll show you guys how I put the magnet in it and then I'll be right. All right, now you'll have to bear with me cause I'm on my phone now, but that's how the print came out. And this is the hole right here. And this is how I pretty much put the magnet in it. All right, so take your magnet, take a dab of glue and just put one dab in there. Go ahead and take your magnet and slide it right on in there and just press it in. And once it gets done curing, that's it, it will be done. And obviously you can wipe away some of the excess glue, but that's pretty much how it's gonna be. And to test it out, there it is. All right, not bad, right? I think all in all, it took us about four minutes and some change, minus me talking my ass off to actually design the design. Now, if I was like just sitting down and focusing, I could probably do it in like two minutes, three minutes, you know what I mean? And the print actually took us only 30 minutes. So not bad at all. You know, these are quick little fun fridge magnets that you can make for your friends, you know, for little gifts or whatever. Do me a favor, if this video helped you out in any way, hit the like and subscribe button. Check out all my socials down below. I do post on my Instagram a lot of my uh, new designs and everything. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching it. Thank you so much.